team, an organization dedicated to making sure veterans get into the holiday cheer. MTN's Lindsay Stinger spoke with those at Angels in Camo to hear about the impact they have. Local organization Angels in Camo hosted their annual gift drive. For the last 12 years, Connie and her crew have been delivering Christmas joy to veterans of all walks of life. There's your gifts. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. You bet. Spread across the floor are presents wrapped up tight from a pack of Santa's helpers. Go put them under your tree and have a Merry Christmas. 12 years ago, Angels in Camo started off as an idea in the office, but now has delivered Christmas miracles to hundreds of military families. Had one family that he was deployed and he was hurt while he was deployed. He come back, he couldn't go back to his regular job. Christmas was coming, he had medical expense. Someone referred him and he had four kids and we helped him. And it was a godsend for them. So that was four years ago. And now, today, he's back on his feet and he sponsored a family this year. Just one of the many success stories that Angels and Camo have come across. 12 years, I've had numerous people that have touched my heart. Uh, Michelle became a recipient after falling on hard times and was worried she wouldn't be able sure. to give her kids the Christmas they deserve. Um, it's a huge help. Um, because it's, you know, trying to make sure, you know, we have, you know, everything else that we need on top of, you know, trying to make sure the kids have, you know, at least something to open. Um. Michelle is getting her life back on track, and her next goal is to be the one on the other end of the gift giving. Absolutely. I'm hoping that by next year I'll be able to actually be a sponsor. Merry Christmas. Often it's not even about the presents at all, but the love and the thought put into them. We help them, and then they pay it forward. In Great Falls, Lindsay Stinger, MTN News. Well, the Shoto County Sheriff's Department uh, hosted their annual Shop with a Sheriff event to help kids who may need a little extra support for the holidays. MTN's Cade Mentor has more. With snow on the ground, temperatures below 32, and two weeks left to the holidays, calls for a special day of shopping. The Shoto County Sheriff's Office hosted their 17th annual Shop with the Sheriff event at Walmart located on Smelter Avenue and took 10 deserving kids for a day of holiday shopping. We're from a rural uh, county up in Shoto County, uh, Fort Benton area. So, you know, we know all the kids too and, and all the teachers and the community knows everybody. So uh, we let the schools pick out the children they want to send and uh, then uh, with through donations from all our citizens and businesses up there in Shoto County, uh, we're able to come down and, and bring the kids in here and, and they just have a ball. They get to pick out what they want as far as clothing, they get to pick out a toy or two, and you know, I think it just makes their Christmas. Not the types of people sheriffs are used to dealing with. Deputy Chef Broster was happy to work alongside a cheerful group of kids. You know, in, in our world in law enforcement, sometimes we deal with people on their worst days, and it's really awesome to be able to spend some time with kids getting excited for some of their best days and making sure that Christmas really is that for them, is their best day, and that they have a good year. Deputy Matt Guterjean reflected upon the importance of giving back to their community. Uh, we, we serve an amazing community, and any time we can give back to the community we serve is, is always a bright day for us. We, we see a lot of the negative things that occur, unfortunately. Um, this is something to not only brighten our day, but brighten theirs as well, and any time we can give back, we, we definitely want to do that. While holiday shopping may be exciting for some, the holidays are what kids are most stoked about. I really love the family and joy, and also the presents. Hanging out with family, okay. people I don't get to see during the, at any times. If you would like to send donations to the Shoto County website, you can visit our website. In Great Falls, Cade Mentor, MTN News.